Thank you for joining us on this special So What edition on Friday. I know many of you were looking for us about an hour ago, and we uh, kind of got our time zones crisscrossed a little bit, so I apologize. We are joining you 2 o'clock Central Time here on So What. So whether you are viewing on YouTube or Facebook or Twitch, I hope you are able to join us now. I'm seeing some of you pop up, so say hello. Let me know where you're watching from. I am here in San Antonio, Texas at the American Sewing Guild Conference, and everything is in full swing. I am now sitting at the booth, as you can see. So today, we've got a bunch of our webinar kits here at the booth on sale. I'm displaying some of my bags, um, or some of our bags in the background here. I've taught a couple of classes so far. Um, I've already done a class on how to embroider faux leather and cork fabrics. I also did a hands-on class for our awesome So Can She zippered organizer pouch. So everybody got to make a pouch in class over the course of four hours and we had a great time. That was yesterday before anything even opened up yet. So yay, glad I found you too, Rebecca. Thank you for, uh, thanks for joining us. And um, again, uh, uh, I apologize for the the time problem, so I'm glad that everybody found us and um, you're all able to join. So again, here we are at the American Sewing Guild Conference. So today's um, exciting news was at lunch, we had our keynote speaker who was so fantastic. Um, she's one of my favorite people and one of my great mentors in the sewing uh, industry, the great Linda McPhee. Linda McPhee is here all the way from Canada and she gave the keynote address at lunch today. She is hilarious. Um, the title of her keynote address was Confession of a Shopaholic and she just has the greatest, greatest stories. And you know, like so many of us, she has overcome so much in her life and sewing has really been a saving grace for her and just, you know, the whole community. Um, rallies around her and she's just so gracious and so wonderful so it was really great to reconnect with her I haven't seen her in a few years and even better to hear what she's been up to and see her up on that stage doing her thing and having her fashion show and um, giving away tons of door prizes you know she's just so so generous so that was amazing um, so yeah I woke up this morning I taught a class went to lunch did the keynote here I am at the booth joining all of you and it's a very exciting day because we are also going to announce the winner of our Casey duffel photo contest you all have been hearing me talk about this you've all been hearing me talk about this for months now because in February we did our event with American Sewing Guild where we brought you the Casey Duffel photo or the Casey Duffel bag. Here is a picture of that pattern. Let me get rid of this here so you can actually see it. This is a pattern by Sally Tomato. We brought you a video cast where we showed you start to finish how to make this bag and we also did machine embroidery. So I also brought these bag samples. If I tilt my camera the right way, there they are hanging in the other corner of the booth. I also brought those bag samples um, to the class I did this morning to show people how you could take this bag, use the extra faux leather for your front pocket to have even more of a faux leather accent and then you could embroider on that. We had a round table discussion on embroidering on uh, cork and faux leather um, so lots of people were able to lend their tips and tricks to that as well. But our Casey photo contest has come to a close. Last night was the last night you could enter or vote. I did link to the contest page because you can still go and see all of the images of all of the entries and check out all the inspiration there. You can still grab up a Casey duffel bag kit. There are very few available because I brought lots to uh, the event here for people to grab as well. Um, also featured on that KC Duffel is our floral foraging machine embroidery collection. Um, these are wonderful designs, open work designs, line art designs that are great for embroidering on those substrates. So faux leather and cork fabrics, you need more open and airy outline style designs to avoid puckering and buckling that can sometimes happen when you're embroidering on these types of fabrics because 
they don't have a weave to them, right? So there aren't open areas for your thread to fit in when you're adding machine embroidery embellishment to them. So you need open, you know, kind of straight stitch line art designs because fill stitches are going to um, need too much space for all of that thread to fit in to those, uh, you know, I want to say fibers, but that's not the right word. Um, there's just not enough room in those fabrics to accommodate all of that thick thread work. So the floral uh, foraging embroidery design collection is great for those. And that's what I used on the pockets of the Casey duffel bag samples that I just showed you. So that's going to be our giveaway today for one lucky person who's watching, commenting, giving me those thumbs up and all those great emojis. Otherwise, engaging with the post today, you will be automatically eligible to win our floral embroidery design palette, which comes with these beautiful 10 threads of poly deco thread, as well as this great design collection. So all you have to do is interact with the post, give me those great thumbs up or emojis, and somehow interact with me here on the live stream. And I'll pick a winner about tomorrow, and uh, one of you will be the lucky winner. All right, so back to our Casey Duffel photo contest. So these are just some examples of Casey Duffel bags, but again, head on over to the contest page because you can see all of the great entries. And I thank every one of you for uploading your images to our photo contest. It has been so fun to see what you create uh, using our you know video cast and our images as your inspiration. And I absolutely love it. So our winner is going to receive all of these things that you see here. Now, whoever got the most votes is the winner and they will have to, um, uh, they have to respond within a certain amount of time. Um, there are some eligibility requirements that still need to be verified, but without further ado, I would like to announce that Laura Chiafara has won the Casey Duffel Photo Contest. Congratulations, Laura. I'm gonna see how many votes she ended up with at the end, but she really came out um, like gangbusters. Let's see, 643 votes for Laura. She will win all of the things I just put on the screen. Of course, we would like to thank Brother for providing a sewing machine to our winner. Uh, Laura will be receiving this fantastic brother sewing machine. Look at that extension table. I mean, this would be a welcomed machine in anybody's sewing room. And we just thank Brother so much for their support and for providing that for our winner. Laura will also win a dream collection of thread from Sulky of America, as well as a ton of stabilizer to outfit her sewing room. She will also win a court club membership from Sally Tomato, as well as a membership to uh, the Fashion Design School from American Sewing Guild. Um, she will also win a set of rotary cutters and scissors from Havel Sewing. Um, let's see, did I remember everything? There's so much, over $1,900 in prizes. Let's see if I remember everything. Oh yes, assorted needle eco packs from Oregon Needles. Um, oh, and the Havel's prize is a, is a shopping spree, a $75 shopping spree. So she gets to pick whatever she wants. I mean, so many great things for her great sewing prowess. And I thank you to everyone who voted and participated in our Casey Duffel photo contest. And I hope to do another one at some point because it was super fun to watch all of those entries come in. All right, another thing I wanted to talk about is our mystery box. So we had our 35th anniversary mystery box and it was our golden ticket mystery box. So how many of you out there uh, got yourself a golden ticket mystery box. Give me the th thumbs up and let me know because one of those mystery boxes contained a sulky golden ticket, which is literally a golden printed ticket that says you are the winner of a $250 shopping spree at sulky.com. So one lucky person won that golden ticket and she has given me permission to announce her name here on So What, and it is Miss Elaine Shaw from San Diego, California. She was a lucky winner of the golden ticket and so excited to uh, give her that prize, and she was so excited to receive it. So 
Oh, Mary Ellen says, I got a box, but no gold. Well, hopefully there will be a next time because I thought that was really fun. Kathy says, congrats, Elaine. So that is great. And I love that I'm recognizing your names here that you guys were able to join in on this special edition of So What? I also wanted to bring to your attention that here at American Sewing Guild Conference, I have run into a number of you who say that you are avid So What? Uh, watchers that you watch every Tuesday and it's been so cool to connect with some of you here in person at American Sewing Guild Conference and I actually where's my picture oh let me make it a little bit smaller so this was last night we had a little vendor preview there we go and I got to meet Sharon Galen Sharon, maybe some of you recognize Sharon's name as well because she's always watching So What and I bring her name on screen and she asks questions and she does our webinars and she participates in the video casts and she is just a lovely gem of a human and we got to connect last night and meet in person and it was so, so great. We had to take a picture and I told her I was gonna bring her on screen today uh, because I so appreciate her comments and coming up to me and um, just, you know, being able to chat face to face. So that was really, really cool. I also took some pictures of my classes that I had. Um, this is a picture yesterday of everybody sewing and having a good time making their zippered organizers, uh, the pattern by Sew Can She. And you can make one as well if you would like, because we still have this video cast available at sewingonline.sulky.com. I put the link directly to the video cast in the description of today's post, and you can check that out. Uh, it's uh, absolutely free to uh, attend and watch that uh, video cast at your leisure. And everybody had a great time quilting up their great art gallery fabrics and constructing the bag. Now, not very many people finished, I will say, because you know we had four hours to do it and there was a lot of education to be had. Uh, but most everyone got all the way to binding the case in that four hours of time. And I mean, we had to do a lot of cutting, we had to assemble our pattern, we had to do a lot of prep work, which as you know, pretty much takes up almost all of the time of sewing. You know, we, we joke around that uh, sewing is actually 75% cutting and 25% sewing, right? <laughs> depending on what you're making really so we got almost all the way to everybody getting their binding at least cut and uh, ready to put on their organizers so um, it was just a pleasure teaching everyone we had a great time there was lots of laughs and um, it was just a really great experience so i hope that you're all able to attend an american sewing guild conference at some point in your life you know i got a little bit of inside scoop from some of the conference presidents um, just chatting around last night and i guess i didn't realize this but if you're the chapter president it seems like they all get to come for free i know so it behooves you to join the american sewing guild and say um i'd like to be president please so i can go to conference <laughs> plus then you get to meet everybody learn what it's all about um, if you're not part of American Sewing Guild already, I highly encourage you to get your membership going and reap all the benefits um, because it's not just about conference, it's about monthly meetings and meeting new people and um, just coming together as a part of the sewing community. So um, it's really, really cool. All right, let's see. Deborah says, I love my organizer. It holds so much more than I expected. Um, Perfect. And yes, Kathy says, free is fantastic. <laughs> and thank you. Patrick says, yep, that's true. So all you have to do is say, hey, I want to be a part of this guild. And oh, yeah, I'd like to be president next year. Um, and, you know, I think at the end of conference is when they announce where the next conference is going to be for the next year. So after Sunday, we will all know where next year's conference is gonna be held. And it's always somewhere great. I've been to California for ASG conference. Um, I wanna say I was in Phoenix, perhaps, here in San Antonio. I think I've been to about five American Sewing Guild conferences in my career. So um, really cool opportunities. I don't know where I saw it. And we have somebody coming to the booth. I'm live streaming, so you might be on camera. Oh, she left. She did not want any part of it. That's okay. That's I get it. It's okay. 
All right. <laughs> so um, let's see if anybody else has any more questions. All right. Dawn says she made six of those pouches for Christmas last year. That is awesome. Oh, Drew wants to see a picture of the winning Casey duffel bag uh, because he's not on or he or she is not on Facebook. Oh, that's great. Why didn't I think of that? Okay, let me pull it up. Give me just a moment um, to find it. Okay. And so I'm on this rinky dinky little um, laptop and normally I am streaming from, um, let's see. Also, if you're not on Facebook, the contest isn't actually on Facebook. I linked directly to the contest uh, page in the description of today's post. So you can head right to that URL. It's not a contest that was through Facebook or on Facebook at all. It's right on our website. Um, so you can see all of the entries right through that link. I have to say that I'm over 18. Hold on a sec. Here we go. Okay, let me pull up the winning picture. It's a really beautiful bag. I think it's out of a canvas, a butterfly print, and then uh, it looks like she used maybe denim for the handles of the bag. So here we go. I'll bring it up on the screen. There we go. So that is the winning Casey Duffel with that beautiful fussy cut butterfly print on the, um, the, the pocket. Hello. There it is. Laura, if you're out there, I hope you're watching and I'm so excited for you and we will contact you um, about redeeming all of your gifties and all of it. All right. Lots of people saying you're a member of ASG. Um, that's awesome. If you are, let me know. Give me a thumbs up or a heart emoji. All right. Oh, and thank you. Carol is coming in with some more news. Um, about American Sewing Guild. She says it's not quite free if you're the president, I assume. Registration is half and usually paid by your local chapter. Sometimes the chapter might help with travel and room. Well, that is good to know. All right, so I didn't have the full story. Thank you for letting me know, Carol. I don't like to spread misinformation at all. And Mary says San Antonio is a pretty city, great restaurants around the river. Yeah, that's the other thing is there are all these excursions that American Sewing Guild kind of, well, they organize and they're optional add-ons to your experience. So you can come and um, the first day they had a daily excursion to El Mercado and they brought everybody uh, down there and they, they uh, roamed around and shopped and had a bunch of, um, I believe they had lunch together there as well. Um, and then tomorrow night there is a riverboat cruise that everybody can take together um, and you know they get a nice rate because they're getting group rates and then you get to you know be with like-minded people um, so it's really a cool experience not only do you get to come and be uh, with your fellow sewers and maybe your fellow guild members but you get to meet other people who you know like the same thing that you do you make new friends and you get to have these great experiences so really cool all right, Leslie says, how do you start a guild? Well, American Sewing Guild has chapters all over. So first you'll wanna to go to American Sewing or ASG.org and you can search to see the guild that's closest to you, to your city. So for example, I live outside of Denver. So there's a Denver chapter. Um, and I believe there's also a Colorado Springs chapter perhaps. So I would choose Denver because that's closer to me and I could join that chapter. When you join ASG, it'll ask you for your closest neighboring city to an existing chapter. Um, as far as starting your own chapter, I'm not sure what is involved in that, but I'm pretty sure it's gotta be on their website um, if you have enough members that want to join in a city that doesn't already have a chapter. So that's pretty cool. All right, wondering what it looked like. Okay, I know I'm just sitting in my booth and that is because I have to be plugged in to all these things to live stream with you, but I'm going to try to tilt my camera so that you can see a little bit more of the vendor hall. Um, I cannot take my camera into classrooms and things like that. 
Um, there's proprietary information and other um, teachers in there. I would need to get everybody's permission. Um, but I can kind of tilt my camera and show you what goes on here in the vendor hall. And it's a little bit quiet because they just finished the keynote um, presentation at lunch and people started classes up again at two o'clock right when I went live. So a lot of people are in class right now, um, but there are a few people still milling about here in the vendor hall. So I will, hopefully I don't lose you by rotating because our booth is here on the corner. So you can see if I tilt my camera this way, it's the hall. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to try and tilt my camera this way. This is um, the person right next to us. And then um, All Brands is down there. They've got lots of sewing machines and people are making samples and they're trying out sewing um, or they're trying out these machines. They're, they're uh, actually giving away a sewing machine as well um, here at conference for a raffle, I think. Um, so there's, there's just so many so many so much fun stuff going on you can test drive new machines and they have supplied the class or the um, machines for the classes so it's really cool when you take your hands on class you can kind of try out a sewing machine that's brand new or one that has like really cool features that you haven't ever tried before um, so you know and you and you get to talk to the machine educators too. They tell you everything about the machine, the presser feet, the accessories that, that are available. So it's really a neat experience. Okay. All right, everyone is chiming in about Laura's bag. Perfect, I'm just trying to catch up here. Marsha says she's been a member for ages. So yes, Marsha can probably attest to the great benefits of being part of an American Sewing Guild chapter. All right, and thank you for putting the link up in there. It is ASG.org. Okay. All right, and yes, looks like you have a ton of stuff there in your booth. A ton of stuff is right. We have a lot of our webinar kits and our bag kits, um, but I also have, um, packs of thread and I'll show you what's been really popular actually are our wooden sewing signs. So we have these at sulky.com. I don't know if you all knew that, but they are going like hotcakes here at the booth. And these are laser cut, they're wooden signs, they're little shelf sitters, or you can also hang them. They come with a little bit of hanging um, pins that you put into um, the little areas that are cut out for them and super cute. Everybody has been loving them. I think it's the hot item for American Sewing Guild conference this or thus far, we'll say. Um, you know, we're really only on, what, day one and a half, so we'll see how it shakes out. But we've got my sewing room, and then we have also got, excuse me, extreme close-up. We've also got Come Sew With Me. So these are have been really, really popular. Again, you can get these at uh, sulky.com and we have a number of other ones to choose from. We only have these two left here at the booth, so um, they seem to be really, really popular. Um, we also have some other cute little shelf sitters. I mean, of course, the sulky thread and stabilizers are also popular, but I'm just saying, um, you know, these little things that you can't get anywhere else um, seem to be really popular. So we also have this cute little shelf sitter, my sewing room. People are really loving that. I, this is actually the last one I have, so that's cool. And then our last little shelf sitter that we have. Sewing Men's the Soul. Very cute. So these seem to be um, the most popular thing here at the Sulky booth, aside from our thread packs that we have that are just going like hotcakes as well. Um, and a lot of people already have our webinar kits and video cast kits. They're like, oh, I've got that one, that one, that one. Still need to make that one. <laughs> So we've got a lot of sulky uh, super fans here in the house as well. All right. And yes, um, a lot of people talking about American Sewing Guild chapters. Leslie says, I live in the middle of nowhere. Um, I'd be surprised if there was one nearby. Um, yeah, you know, the, actually the president of the Denver chapter, um, she also pretty much lives in the middle of nowhere. And Denver is about an hour from her. And she's the president 
So you don't have to have all of your meetings in the city center. So if your closest major city is Denver, um, you might be included from the surrounding area and they would still include you in their virtual meetups and you could um, meet up somewhere that's closer. Maybe if a group of you live in the outskirts, um, you could suggest that you meet elsewhere. So there are opportunities if you don't live near that city, but that's your closest city for a chapter, you could still be part of that chapter and participate in other ways. So don't be thrown off if you're like, oh, well, I live, I live three hours from Denver. I can't be a part of that chapter. Well, you still can, and you can still join in on the fun, and maybe you just don't go to all the meetings or you join in virtually. Because especially now that all of us, you know, are pretty much um, more knowledgeable about using Zoom and, you know, talking to each other virtually like we are here, you have a lot more opportunities now to join in on those meetings and participate in your American Sewing Guild without having to drive three hours to make it to the meetings. So um, I would just inquire, you know, go to ASG.org, find your local chapter, send them a message, see what, is it, what it entails, how often they meet. Some might just meet quarterly, some might meet monthly, um, some might do, uh, some of them do retreats every year. Um, so there's just a lot of fun things that can, that can happen and you can be as involved as you want to be. It's kind of like being part of the PTA, right? You can be the president or you can be just the person who watches and sees what goes on from, from behind the scenes. <laughs> so sorry about the reference, but you know, I'm a parent of small children, so that's kind of where I'm drawn from. Okay. All right. Denise says, would be fun to see it all in person. It is fun. And lots of you saying, I need one of those sewing room signs. And again, you can find all the ones I just showed you at sulky.com and more. So there's even a bigger selection at sulky.com. Um, and you can grab up one of your own. Okay. Oh, Leslie, I'm so glad that you brought this up. She says, just opening my mystery box. I have an item I don't know what to do with. It is black with a zipper. Okay, so this one really threw people for a loop. And I will say, not everybody got the one with the zipper, because um, as you know, it's a mystery box, so the items vary, okay? So what that item is, is it's a bottle koozie, and it's a bottle koozie blank, so you can embroider it, decorative stitch on it, um, top stitch on it, hand embroider it, embellish it any way you choose, or you can simply fold it with right sides together, sew up the sides, turn it right side out, unzip the zipper, and stick your favorite beverage inside. So some of you got a bottle koozie that has a zipper. It unzips so that you can fit the, uh, the bottle inside and then zip it back up. Others got a can koozie. And that one was black and it had a little, um, almost like a diamondish pattern on it. So what you do is, first you're going to hoop some Sticky Plus stabilizer with the paper side facing up. Then you're going to score that paper, and I've shown you this technique so many times, this is our hoopless embroidery technique. Then you're going to score the paper backing with you, your uh, Sticky Plus slitting pen, one of my favorite little notions, and then you're going to tear away the paper to reveal the adhesive stabilizer. Stick your can koozie or your bottle koozie to the stabilizer so the right side is facing up. Make sure to center where you want your embroidery design in your hoop. Embroider the design and it's kind of like a neoprene type fabric and it's plushy, right? Um, it takes to the embroidery very well. I would use a top stitch needle or even a Microtex needle would work for that embroidery. Use just sulky bobbin thread in the bobbin and you'll use the black sulky bobbin thread because the little mesh lining fabric on that neoprene is black. So you'll want to match your uh, bobbin thread to that color. When your embroidery is complete, you'll tear the koozie front away from the stabilizer, remove any bits of excess, then fold it so the right sides are facing and only stitch the side seams. You can do a straight stitch, you can zigzag it, and you can even serge those side seams. You will leave the little piece, um, the little pieces of 
Okay, so this is really hard because I don't have an image of it because I'm not in my regular uh, sewing room. I'm here at the booth, so I have limited resources, but I'm just gonna try and draw it for you, okay? I also have a blog post about embroidering the can koozie, but I don't have a post about embroidering the bottle koozie, but it's the exact same method. You just wanna steer clear of that zipper. So put your embroidery below the zipper and or on the other side. So your bottle koozie, please forgive my drawing skills, but I'm going to do the best I can on the fly. All right, your bottle koozie looks kind of like this, right? Here's your zipper. So when you fold it right sides together, it's gonna look like this, okay? So you're basically folding it so that both sides are meeting and you're going to only sew these edges. You leave this part open. That is so that when you insert your bottle, this area is free and it'll sit flat and then you can have your bottle sitting on the table. It'll have its nice personalized embroidered jacket over it with a little zipper, and your beverage will be nice and cool for the summer months and uh, stay icy cold for you. Whether you like to drink root beer or beer beer or near beer or whatever you like to drink out of the bottle, you'll have a really cute koozie for it. And it also makes a great gift. If you have a birthday gift or a birthday party or something to go to, you can personalize it for the recipient. It'd make a really great dad's day uh, design. So um, I hope you all enjoy. And then same, uh, same method applies to the can koozie. For those of you who got the can koozie blank, you'll do your embroidery, then fold it so right sides are facing and only sew those side seams. Leave the bottom open. That way, when you turn it right side out, stick your can in, the bottom will go flat against your table. Is everybody with me? All right. And if you don't have an embroidery machine, you can still sew up those side seams. You can add decorative stitches, like I said. You can do hand embroidery to it. You may even have an alphabet stitch on your sewing machine, and you could write a message or somebody's name on it if you don't have machine embroidery. You can also add an applique to it. So when I did the can koozie blog post, I did an applique in the hoop design. So you could do an applique design of your choice and uh, just stitch it down and it would look super cute and make a great gift. Okay, Tracy is saying, I can't find the wooden signs on the website. So we will try and help you with a direct link there, Tracy. Sorry about that. All right. And Mary Catherine says, with Zoom, many sewists can meet up virtually at nearly any neighborhood group meeting that offers hybrid or fully online meetings. Exactly. So you can still get involved in American Sewing Guild even if you are far away from the chapter hub. Okay. And Christy says, my favorite wooden shelf sitter says, yes, I really do need all this fabric. <laughs> don't we? <laughs> All right. Yes, a lot of people wondered what that cute little thing in their mystery box was. So I'm glad we could clear that up here today. And Jenny says, I loved everything in my mystery box. I even got a personal note from someone that said this was their favorite mystery box so far and they've gotten all of them. So that is great to hear because we really curated a really fun box for the 35th anniversary, put some different things in different boxes so everybody would get a little bit of a surprise. And yeah, I'm really, I, I love the feedback and um, we're already working on our next mystery box. It's so fun to put these together and to get some thread in your hands that maybe you've never tried before, been curious about. Um, maybe you wouldn't have normally bought that for yourself and then you got it in your box and now you can't live without it. So I hope it gives you a chance to kind of experiment and get out of your comfort zone and try some new things and get some fun little, you know, sewing themed things in the process, you know, little necklace charms or um, little scissors or notions or point turners and 
um, things like that. So, all right, Janet says, everything in the booth is so cute. Wish I was there. I wish you were here as well because we're having a great time. Um, and I need some people to talk to right now. Everybody's in class, but there is a little bit of a hubbub going around. I don't know if you all can hear it. Um, I tried to get my microphone hooked up to um, cut out some of the ambient noise. So hopefully you can hear me okay. Jenny says, I just ordered that pen. Can't wait to get it. The Sticky Plus Slitting Pen, you guys. It's a lifesaver. I have been talking about it in my classes. Um, like I said, I just did a class on faux leather and cork embroidery. And as you know, we cannot hoop those fabrics. So you need to use your Sticky Plus Stabilizer and the Sticky Plus Slitting Pen to make sure that you can stick your faux leather or cork in the hoop without marring it from the hooping process. All right. Let's see. So glad I got to listen today. I am glad you were able to join as well. If you have any questions, um, you know, I can try to speak to American Sewing Guild questions. I hope somebody comes by because maybe I can snag them in here for a little interview. Um, we shall see. Yes, and I would love to see everybody's uh, uh, can koozies and bottle koozies. So please join our Facebook group, which is Sulky Stitch and Post. If you're not already a part of the Sulky Stitch and Post Facebook group and you're on Facebook, all you have to do is search Sulky Stitch and Post and you will find it. Just ask to join. We will let you in. You can post pictures of all of your cute koozies, pictures of your Casey Duffels, pictures of your Clara bag. This is a blast from the not so uh, distant past, but this is our Clara bag. So I brought this in to our faux leather and cork embroidery class and everyone was ooing and aahing over it. This is one, of, I think this is the very first video cast we ever did at sewingonline.sulky.com. We have very limited kits available. I snagged some here for the ASG booth. Uh, because I knew I would be teaching this technique. Um, and don't forget, we also have this beautiful mustard color with that dense butterfly embroidery on it. And during the video cast, I taught you all how to add dense embroidery to faux leather, which really is a no-no because of the buckling and puckering you can get with a dense design. So during the video cast, you learn how to add dense embroidery to a faux leather or cork without marring the fabric. As you can see, it's on there and it looks beautiful and it, it's really a showstopper. I, every time I bring this out, people just go, oh, you made that? And I'm like, yes, and so can you. So I uh, taught everybody this technique and you can learn it as well during the Clara Bag video cast at sewingonline.sulky.com. You can sign up for it at any time and watch the entire thing on demand. Like I said, we have limited kits still available at sulky.com. Once they're gone, they're gone. So if I sell all these here at ASG, that's it. So if you're on the fence about it, um, they're probably on sale as well because, um, because of the fact that we have so few still available. So check it out at sulky.com. See if you can get yourself one. Watch that video cast and then you'll be in the know and you'll um, have some information about, you'll basically be, be taking the class I taught here in person in the comfort of your own home. All right. Oh, good. Uh, the the uh, direct link to the wooden signs is now in the live chat. It's been there for a while. I just happened upon it. So thank you very much. All right. And yes, it's just like Christmas from Sulky when you open up a mystery box. That's so true. So yeah, we are uh, prepping for our fall mystery box. So spoiler alert, you're hearing it from me now. There will be a fall mystery box, um, but that's all I'm going to tell you because it, it's a mystery and I want to be able to surprise you. <laughs> all right. Denise, you haven't tried a mystery box yet? I am kind of shocked. Um, so yes, you'll have to try one. It's so fun to open it up and just see all the surprises inside. It, it really is like, uh, you know, getting a Christmas present um, and, you know, or a birthday present, just not, not knowing what to expect, but you know you're gonna love it because it's all sewing supplies um, that we put together for you all. 
Sheila says, I love going to conference and meeting sewers from all over the country. I hope you're having fun. I am having a blast so far. I will say, man, is it hot. I'm from a very dry state and this is not a dry state, okay? It is so humid here, um, but uh, this is why I just put my hair up and say, it is what it is. Very minimal makeup so that it's not streaking down my face. <laughs> All right. All right. Oh, this is cool. Erlene says, I just got a new sewing machine and a new embroidery machine. Awesome. Aren't we all jealous of Arlene? <laughs> okay. Sorry, I'm just trying to get caught up on the questions here. So if you do have questions, be sure to put them in the live chat or in the comments. Um, let's see. See, just had my birthday. Okay. Oh, Deb, I don't. I didn't really understand what you were saying, um, but now I get it. She says, "I love the mystery boxes." Also, would you please enter all our names in the drawing <laughs> to win the sewing machine ear? I wish I could. You have to be present. I know. I know. <laughs> okay. Paula says, "How do you get a mystery box?" All right. So when we announce our mystery boxes are available for purchase. Sometimes they only last a few hours. Sometimes they last 24 hours. As soon as we announce them, they go on sale for a special price. Normally it's at least, you know, over $50 worth of goods or, you know, sometimes it's been over $75 worth of stuff in the box. The boxes range from $29.99 to $34.99. Um, this last box was $34.99. There was a lot, a lot of stuff inside and a machine embroidery collection. I wanted to bring that to your attention as well. If you grabbed up a mystery box and you were not aware that it came with our Love to Sew machine embroidery collection, go check your account at sulky.com because there is a machine embroidery collection waiting for you to download it. I didn't realize it, but there was no mention of it when you opened the box. So you would have not even known that you got the embroidery collection if you didn't look at your Sulky account after you purchased. So head on over to sulky.com if you got that mystery box and find your love to sew machine embroidery collection, download it, make something fun, stitch out those designs using the six pack of thread that you received in your box and you'll be a happy camper. Oh, so how do you get a mystery box? All right, so once we announce that they're on sale, we give you the link to go right to sulky.com. You grab it up, you purchase it, and then you wait for it to arrive. That's how you order one. We don't offer them all the time year round. Um, right now we're offering them quarterly. So we do a mystery box, winter, spring, summer, and fall. So we just did our summer 35th anniversary mystery box. So you'll have to wait until the fall box comes out to grab your next mystery box. All right. Oh yes, and Leslie says, don't forget the $10 off a $25 purchase coupon. There are so many benefits to getting a mystery box. We give you coupons, we give you free designs, we give you ancillary items, we give you education opportunities. So it's really not just buying goods, it is getting a whole experience in a box. So they're really fun and really cool. Oh, Jenny says, just found that embroidery collection in my downloads yesterday. I wondered how I got it. Yep, <laughs> it came with your mystery box. <laughs> All right. And Peg, yes, I agree. I was worried about that, that nobody would know that they got that collection. So I'm glad I remembered to tell you all today. All right. Anita says, are there holiday items in the mystery box at all? Um, it's a mystery, to be quite honest. Um, you'll have to jog my memory for those of you who got our holiday mystery box um, last, uh, last winter. Um, I can't remember if there were holiday specific items in it um, because we, we've just, we do so many of these. Uh, so I apologize for not remembering, but um, usually we keep them seasonally appropriate rather than holiday specific. So hopefully that answers your question. All right, Peg says, I'll watch for the fall mystery box. I loved this last one, great. Sandra says, can I still buy a mystery box? Unfortunately, they are sold out. So these mystery box go like hotcakes. 
Um, like I said, sometimes they're on sale for six hours and they're sold out. Sometimes they're on sale for two days and they sell out. Um, I don't think we've ever had one last longer than a few days before selling out. Um, we do make limited supply of them. As you can imagine, they're pretty labor intensive to put together, seeing as how they all have different things in them and they get postcards and downloads and all kinds of things. Um, so we do have to be a little bit exclusive about how many we are making. Um, so if the demand continues, then hopefully we'll be able to have them out for longer. All right, we've convinced Denise She's in, I'm gonna give you some party noise. All right. <laughs> Esther says, I don't recall anything holiday specific, but there were a couple of very nice poly sparkles. Yeah, thank you. Thank you because I couldn't remember. All right, well, I really appreciate you all joining me. As you could see, I had somebody shopping here at the booth and I had to completely ignore her. So I need to get back to my job and make sure that everybody is having a great time here at the Sulky Booth at American Sewing Guild Conference. So thank you for joining me. I hope this gave you a little tiny sneak peek into what goes on here, even though you had to stay at the Sulky Booth the entire time. But I know if I saw you in person, I would be able to keep you here all afternoon with my chit chatting anyway. So um, it's very indicative of what would normally happen at the show floor. <laughs> All right, so thanks for joining me, everybody. You have a wonderful holiday weekend. Take some time to make your bottle koozie so you can enjoy it out there for 4th of July. And uh, have a wonderful rest of your day. And I will see you next week on another So What?